Hey guys, what's up? I just want to make a quick video here, show you guys how I clean uh, cleanable air filters, like an Uni. This one right here, I took off the SSR pit bike. Um, not saying it's the right way, not saying it's the wrong way, this is just the way that I do it. So what we're going to be using to clean it is hot soapy water and um, awesome. I peel the uh, stickers off of these because it's like a, they slide off, it's really annoying. But it's, uh, you can get this stuff at the dollar store, it's called LA's Totally Awesome. It cuts grease really, really good. So I just kind of like spray it on the filter, or like knead it with my fingers, uh, get it in all the um, like the spongy material and everything, and then you kind of just like dunk it in and out of the super hot water, and then you can run it under the spigot or uh, hose from the inside out, so you push all the dirt out. So first thing we're gonna do, get some hot soapy water together. Make sure your water is super hot, and then just throw a little bit of like regular dish soap in there. It doesn't have to be anything special. take our filter we'll pull the outer layer off and we can clean them individually so we're just gonna spray it down with the awesome now I put a good amount of soap on here some of this video is cropped out and I also spent a good amount of time kneading uh, the soap into the material and making sure that you're getting all that dirt out sometimes I like to do it two or three times um, depends how many or uh, how dirty the filter is um, but the more time you spend with it, the better the results you're going to get. And also, sometimes it's it's good uh, to let it, you know, soak for, you know, a few minutes and it breaks down the dirt and the grease. And then you start kneading it or um, as long as you're kneading it for a couple minutes so that the, the, the soap has time to break down the, uh, the contaminants. And you'll see when I pull this filter out um, how dark the water got. Pretty much all the dirt just comes right out. So right here, I'm just hitting it again, trying to get a stain out. And we're just gonna take a garden hose, nothing special, rinse it from the inside out so that the water flows out and pushes the dirt away instead of into the filter. And we just get all that soap and dirty water out of it. And we're just gonna take our filter Hang it out to dry on a sunny day like today. It won't take that long. You can see it looks pretty crispy. We're not always going to get everything. There's a little stain right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's pretty faint. But the rest of it looks like brand new. So now we're going to do the same thing with our inner filter. Just like before, saturate it with the awesome. And then we're going to knead it just like before. And we'll rinse it out. Other filter up here. Oh, this day. So these have been drying for about an hour or so. See this one's still a little wet, it's dripping. You can feel it's a little damp. This one is nice and dry. So I'm just gonna let this one dry out for a little bit longer. And then basically all you do is just you know, slip on the second stage if it's a two stage and you're good to go. Um, the one other thing though, you do, uh, if you oil your filters, um, I'm just gonna oil the, uh, the outer layer on this one. You do the same thing like when you put the soap on there. You spray it on there and I just like to knead it in with my thumbs. So that's all guys. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you in the next video.